Hey folks, I'm gonna show you how to make your own chips at home. Uh, it's pretty quick, straightforward. We pretty much try to eat healthy 80% of the time. Go for the right food, it makes a big difference. So we don't buy our own chips. We just make our own chips. This is from Costco. The numbers are pretty good on it. It's definitely whole wheat. It's not like wholesome or 12 grain or multi-grain or anything. Like you can see. And it says on it, literally, it's um, completely whole wheat. You wanna see that, otherwise, do not buy it. If you're looking for a whole wheat on that. Uh, you're gonna see some wording games here. If you're looking for whole wheat, make sure it says whole wheat. This is something came with it. We don't look for it necessarily fully organic, but it helps. And it was cheaper anyways. Um, you get 20 of them, non-GMO. I don't know, I'm not really super picky on these for organic stuff. I do eat some other organics that I, I'm definitely buying organic, but this one, it just came as an organic so These are called La Tortilla Factory. La Tortilla Factory, so. So all you need is your tortillas. And I use a um, little bit of this um, coconut oil spray from Trader Joe's. Got a nice tip. Um, all you do is lay out your tortillas. They're not gonna be um, in the pan. I'm just spraying them on the pan. All you do is just a round moment on each one. Just one little shot. And then uh, you wanna put these in, in the oven. 350 for about like five to seven minutes, how crunchy you want. You don't have to flip them. The only rule is you gotta put it straight into the oven. You can't have any kind of sheet or any kind of aluminum uh, paper, whatever, paper wrap. You just gotta have to go straight onto the rack like by, by the tortilla itself. So once you uh, heat up your oven to 350, basically right there, and I just lay them down, just like that. I don't know if you can see it now, but let me turn you light on. There you go. That's one, that's two, that's three. I'm gonna show you how they sit. Four, that's on the medium rack, four. And uh, I got four of them gonna come up. I don't have to flip them. I'm just gonna close this. Set my timer for, uh, whoa. Um, all right, timer, five minutes and then check on them. All right, so they're cooking right there. Okay, it seems like we got ourselves a crunchy one right here. Another one right here. Another one right here, and a real crunchy one right here. And the other four goes in. Ah, timer, so we're looking at seven minutes out, the, out of the oven. I say five sometimes. I get the oven up to like 400 and cook these, but 350, seven minutes seems to be the, just the limit. And that is one nice chip right there. All you have to do is, it's gonna get a little messy, but I'll just hold the cup. Hold the cup, I'm gonna let me adjust this real quick. All right, so you can see what's going on here. So I hold it right over the cup, and just basically, not two small pieces. Ooh, it's hot. See, these are gonna be great. You want that guacamole, if you wanna dip it in, or salsa, they hold great also. Just, just split, press the center a little bit, just like that. You got yourselves chips, uh, cheaper, healthier, and I think got more texture than anything else. And we love them. Uh, this is the next batch, I'm getting it ready. These are about five minutes into it, my alarm's about to go off, so that's a good check right here. Um, yeah, they're not done yet. I need a couple more minutes in there, so I'm gonna clear out, put the timer on. Timer on to two minutes. Yeah, a couple more minutes in there. You're gonna see how crunchy it gets. So I wanted to show you the other batch. It's more of the same thing, obviously. They cook a little better, like I said. The second batch takes less time, so you don't have to wait several minutes. I checked it out in five and they're perfect condition. I have another container here, like I did before. Just big pieces. 
it doesn't have to be tiny small chips. They don't have to be the same size. They're crunchy, a little messy, but if you're over the container, you're not gonna make a big mess. I leave them like that so I can scoop in like beans and stuff. Mm. Oh, wow. How's that? 